What is up humans and mutants alike? The Lexapro is running low and the thoughts that nothing is ever going to be as good as it once was are slowly creeping in. But I have completed my weekly dose of touching grass and we have yet another Marvel animation to break down. While Daddy Zaslav is stripping Warner Brothers for parts while getting a nice fat paycheck, Disney is taking a shit and adding a fresh coat of paint to it and so many of you are ready to take a bite. Let's get this breakdown over with so I can get back to looking at pics of Rogue's ass previously on X-Men. Cyclops comes in and does a sweet 90s callback that goes harder than my pod collection. At the hospital, the doctor won't deliver the baby. He's a homophobic racist. Oh no, it is Cronenberg Logan. At least he wasn't stupid enough to create a streaming service. Right, Disney? Leech's final thoughts were probably like, what did he say? I don't speak German. Oh no, this really burns. Blue Skin Kree stopped being racist towards the Pink Skin Kree just long enough to be racist towards the Shi'ar. Lee Pace is accusing it up. Deathbird is helping out the Imperial Guard. Hey, is that another Summers bastard? Man, being a space pirate sounds awesome. Just spreading your seed everywhere? I wish I were Corsair. What are we talking about? Deathbird steps on the elf from Lord of the Rings. I wish he would step on me like that. Lalandra Skypes in to tell him that Xavier is alive, but not before giving the filthy casuals a summary of past episodes with Jaquin. Look at these Kirkland brand Corbinites. You think the Royal Shi'ar are wearing eyeliner? Their eyes can't all be perfectly shrouded in subterfuge. Also, feathers. You, you guys don't want to do another pass on this one? Okay. A primate and a bird stand together. Hey, this animated show used a word that goes outside the typical demographic of the MCU. This show is smarts. So, do the feathers hold up the helmet? Are the feathers that strong? Do they fold down and then bend back up? I have so many questions. 60 years of X-Men comics and Marvel still isn't asking the real questions. How do Shi'ar feathers work? Monkey person wants to go back to Earth while bird person wants to stay in Chandralar. She is all about instilling the one truth while Charles is all about critical thinking. <laughs> Message! What the hell is this green liquid? Adversary is a literal demon on Storm's shoulder while Puss leaks out of Forge. Sought refuge with this monotone family. Yeah, white people suck. Don't mind me. I just learned a little bit of Eldridge magic from my ancestors. MBD. Mmm. Puss. Dude, wipe away this queen's tears with your real hand, not your cold-ass metal hand. Back on Chandralar, the psychic bird and monkey take the throne. Deathbird thinks Charles is Lalandra's pet, and he's kind of into it. Not an entirely displeasing thought. This show is kinky as hell. Deathbird comes in and says racist stuff to the monkey. She wants Lelandra to erase Charles' memories of Earth and the X-Men. Charles meets with Gladiator to talk about shitty art. The white man's burden goes over the purple man's head. He says Gladiator is a lot like Magneto. Have the two ever met? Charles lets Lelandra be his sugar mama. Back on Earth, Forge trips balls while they head out to the mountains. They have a conversation even though Forge is dying. Probably not the best time to do this. Time for Lelandra to wipe Xavier's mind. Our blood mixed with his inferior freak fluids. Everyone gets hung up on the Milky Way ghetto line, but inferior freak fluids would definitely make a better band name. Deathbird starts a coup. Didn't see that coming. Ow, you scratched this piece of metal that is protecting my legs that I can't feel. Why am I reacting to this? Charles takes the Shi'ar to school. Storm is crawling through a confined space. Oh no, that's one of her fears. Adversary cyberbully Storm, but she ain't having any of it. She gets her powers back. It is all giant sized up in this bitch. This is the best spirit stallion of the Cimarron sequel ever. Storm rubs goo on Forge is pus. It takes three seconds to heal. That was quick. Forge turns on the TV to find Genosha has been massacred. They hope it's fake news. Charles preaches idealism with no real action. You've got to do better, Senator. And all children of the atom. Charles brings up a terrible comic everyone's trying to forget. You are dancing, drinking wine, making love. Who do you think was f***ing on Genosha? Was it Rogan Magneto? My children of the atom. He brought it up again. Stop it. Charles has to go back. We have to go back! Trask is working with Sinister. It seems they were the ones behind Genosha. I'm glad it isn't Cassandra Nova. Thanks for watching. If you like this, we have a lot of content coming out of WonderCon real soon, so be on the lookout for that. But that will do it for now, mutants and humans. Remember, the robots will kill you, so live your life.